Hello and welcome back to Polytoots. Today we're going to be taking a look at a uh, refraction issue. Uh, I've been working on a new water shader tutorial for the channel using Amplify still. Uh, I did look into Shader Graph again but I uh, still couldn't really do anything. So yeah, this is using Amplify. And um, I remember that, that there's a very common problem with refraction as you can probably see. Uh, happening right here. In fact, it's sort of even worse if I just go ahead and run this. You may have noticed a lot of sort of indie games having this issue. Uh, AAAs don't, don't seem to have it. I guess they have magic sort of coder people. But um, anyway, I found uh, two solutions-ish to the problem. Uh, one of them is very simple and it's not shader related at all it's just uh sorting things out in layers within unity the other one is shader related so um yeah if it's not entirely obvious what the problem is is that this water plane which refracts things underneath the surface it also refracts things not necessarily above the surface but we're seeing the refraction from behind this object that's sort of sticking out the water because the water is behind it and it's refracting so you know if I were to go down here it's not refracting because it's not a part of the water I hope I hope that makes sense so uh, yeah the idea of this little quick tip is to fix that um, so if you're already familiar with refraction stuff then this should kind of makes sense to you uh, or if you're familiar with shaders uh, if you're completely new, then I would recommend just sort of like waiting for me to do the actual proper water tutorial. But anyway, sorry, I'm rambling on and I know people hate it when people don't just get to the point. So solution number one is to separate things into layers. So these guns, for example, like if you have a main character with two guns and you just don't want these to be refracted like ever, then the easiest thing to do is to put them in a different camera and that camera will never see the water and that's how you would do that so uh, let me show you how that would be done we're just going to duplicate our main camera and just call this gun camera and make sure everything inside it is deleted because we only want the camera and we don't want to double up on our scripts so we're going to remove those i'll keep the uh, post-processing just to make sure that my visuals match uh, let's put this camera inside uh, the main camera because we do want it to move with it because it's going to be the camera for our guns uh, so the next thing is make sure it has a higher depth than your main camera because if you know anything about sort of rendering in 3d things are done in an order and we want the main camera to render first and our guns the things closest to us to render last in this scenario at least obviously if you had ui you'd probably render that last but anyway uh so the next thing we need to do is actually just set up some uh layer to sort all of this stuff into so uh, we are just going to add a layer and in any blank slot i'm just going to say no refract and then we'll grab our guns because we don't want these to refract and we'll put them in no refract and yes change children and you might have noticed they've just disappeared immediately. That's because when you create a new layer, uh, they're not automatically added into the uh, culling mask unless you've selected everything. I think if you have everything enabled, then it will keep adding things to it. But for me, it's not. So no refract has not been enabled, which is correct for the main camera because we don't want the camera to see the guns. We do want our gun camera to see the guns, though. So let's say no refract uh, actually, sorry let's say nothing and then no refract so all we're seeing are the guns the guns and the skybox which we don't want so on the clear flags of the gun camera uh, we're going to set it to depth only i think don't clear also works but i'm not entirely sure of the difference i've tried it both ways i think but i can't remember which one i end up using because they both start with a d and that's kind of all my mind focuses on i think i just said all my mind focuses on is the d i did not i should edit that out so anyway depth only depth only uh i believe i believe that's it like, like you know it's very very simple we just 
separating things into different cameras. And as you can see for the weapons, uh, that works very nicely. Everything sort of underneath the surface is still refracting. We haven't changed any of that, but the guns no longer do any weird stuff. This gun, of course, still does because we haven't changed it. Uh, and if you're a bit confused as to what's happening, let me show you what happens if I select the gun and I put this into the no refract layer. So there it is. It kind of messes with uh, your brain a bit in terms of perspective because the gun is being rendered uh, after the water, basically. So it's no longer. Well, I mean, as far as this is concerned, the gun is no longer in the water. So that's essentially what's happening with the guns in our hands, if we had hands. Um, yeah, so that's that. Uh, let's put everything back to default. And let's get rid of the gun camera, because we are going to do solution numero two. So make sure everything is sort of as it was, everything there is fine, these are back to default. So I'm not using the layer that I'd made before, and just to sort of drive that point home, I'm going to get rid of it. So essentially this is the same as when I just started the video. Uh, so now comes the actual shader solution, and there's my refraction here, but what we're going to do is what I was thinking basically is how can I create uh, like a mask in the shader to say, you know, if it's white, refract it. If it's black, don't refract it. And, and the most obvious sort of answer that sprung to my mind was using depth, uh, which has its pros and its cons, which uh, we'll see in, in, in a bit. But uh, if I just sort of put down some stuff here, so we'll say water depth, make it into a property. And I believe normally I would just plug this in, then I would show you what happened, and then I would fix it. But I know that it's going to come in the wrong way around, so uh, I'll do a one minus. I'm going to put that into debug just so we can see uh, immediately sort of what's happening. And so let's grab our material here. Um, yeah, so this this was the solution that I came up with. Uh, I would love to sort of uh, hear any ideas for. A better one, but um, basically, I'm just using the water depth as as, as a mask, essentially, um, which means we are going to get some weird stuff happening on the edges. So, you know, if you have something like this in your game where you have uh, a body of water that is sort of surrounded by slopes, then you're still going to get areas where it will refract as it would without this. Uh, I'll show you what I mean, like afterwards. Uh, hopefully, it'll make more sense then. But um, in terms of just getting things underneath the surface to refract and minimizing the amount of things that refract above the surface, um, I thought that this was a, a pretty good solution. So I'll take that out of debug for now and I'll go put it up here. Um, and if you're wondering if you need any of all of this stuff, uh, you don't. And for this particular shader, it's, it's, uh, it's kind of an absolute mess. It's just something that I've been thrown together. Um, I will be doing a tutorial on water at some point, so don't worry about that, it is coming. So essentially we have this area here which is basically the entire refraction happening. In fact, if you just wanted to take a screenshot or something, this is how you do refraction in Amplify. Although I'm sure you could have looked that up online. Or I think uh, it's probably the same in their own water shaders. But um, anyway, we will uh, continue. So we're just going to multiply these two results together and we will throw in a clamp for good measure. I'm sorry if my voice is a little, I don't know, raspy, horsey. I don't know what you would call it. Um, I, don't, uh, I don't have an excuse for it. It just, <laughs> it just is the way that it is. Uh, for some reason, if I talk too long, I kind of feel like I need to cough. Um, my clamp value, I'm not sure if it's anything to do with this. Uh, it comes in as red by default, uh, which I, I I don't think I want. I mean, I think I want white. But uh, yeah, you do want to be using a clamp if you're doing this. Uh, otherwise, things will get kind of weird. So let's apply that. 
And now I will show you the results of uh, this sort of hacky-ish solution. Um, you can probably already tell that it is refracting-ish underneath and nothing is happening on top. You know, we're not getting any weird stuff. So I'll play the game and uh, yeah, for the most part it's fixed. But if you remember the shoreline, because obviously the the greater our water depth, essentially the clearer that our water is, you know, the sort of the more that we can kind of see through, um, the more white that area is on our depth node which means it behaves as if the regular refraction does. So as you can see, it's still we're still getting that weird outline stuff here. But in the areas where it's black, um, we no longer get those issues. So if you see this refracting and up above not refracting. If we come over here to the Ethan Unity character thing, refracting underneath, nothing weird happening on top. Um, the main drawback, I would say, is just the overall quality of the water seems to just disappear. Like you lose, uh, you lose the ability to create very sort of deep and clear water, which, to be fair, doesn't happen too much in reality anyway, uh, unless you live somewhere tropical. Uh, we don't have clear water in England, but um, yeah, so that's that's the main. That's the main kind of issue I have with it. Um, if you were to go this route, it's you know it's almost a redundant thing because you you're saying that you want to refract the things underneath the surface of the water, uh, but for the most part, the water you can't see through it to refract anything because of, you know the fix the idea of trying to fix it of things coming out of the water. So yeah, that's. Uh, that's that basically. Uh, that was the sort of two solutions that I came up with. Uh, you know, short of hiring a graphics programmer that knows what the hell he's doing, uh, I still don't fully know how to solve this issue 100%. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, it also, if you wanted, you know, the best of both worlds, you could still put the guns into a different layer. Um, as we did in, 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 in the first part of the tutorial. So even if you were to come to, say, the shoreline of something in a game and it was uh, nice and sort of clear and you can see through it. Uh, in fact, let me disable shadow casting. That might help a little bit. And we'll play the game. Uh, yeah, so if you wanted to get rid of the guns at least, doing this, then stick them in th their own layer. There's no reason that you can't have both of these solutions at the same time. You know, it's not like you have to choose one or the other. Uh, but yeah, I think that was pretty much all I wanted to show off. Uh, again, you know, I will admit that it's, it's far from perfect. Uh, I don't know how to do the proper solution for this. Um, go ask a programmer. One last little thing you may have noticed, in fact, even if I if I dip these pistols in the water, uh, you should be able to see is this sort of like ghost outline, which doesn't refract. It's uh, it's only you know like the pink material that is refracting, uh, and that's essentially uh, what we're seeing here is the actual water depth, uh, which is affecting sort of the weapons. Uh, I don't really know what to do about that. I've thought about maybe using some other mask of the refraction to mask out the mask that we're using but uh, nothing nothing seems to work for the moment but uh, it is a work in progress um so yeah i'll be back at some point soon uh probably with uh a water shader tutorial um but if i don't get that finished in time then i'll, I'll probably hop into some modeling stuff or whatever um or you know if there's anything that you really need to see or can't work out how to do then uh, let me know and if it's if it's a good idea for a tutorial then uh, I'll probably hop on that but yeah that is that is it this is just supposed to be a quick video so thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one